Hello, everyone. Well, I've got a cold cup of water here, and I'm ready for some hot fear. Okay, so at the, at the end of the last episode... Be quiet! At the end of the last episode, I had no idea where to go to... Uh, return to the main drilling module to find the... Yeah. I didn't know where to go, but I'm pretty sure I just found it. Back in this room, the same room where I found the flamethrower, there's this locked door, and I think that is an image of an eyeball on this locky thingamajig. So I'm guessing this is where I need to use it. Plus, it is a communications room. And I'm supposed to be deactivating the magnetic field that is blocking the communications. So, is this it? Eyes only clearance, I guess. Wow, good one, Jacob. Oh, hi. Like a freaking Terminator. I just slowly advance towards my opponents and shoot them constantly in the face. Right, so I'm not exactly sure how this is the, uh... The, the objective said, return to the main drilling module. How is this the main drilling module? What does that even mean? I don't know. But anyway, by the way, also, off camera while I was trying to find this place, I got the SMG. Again. Hopefully this time I'll actually keep it. Hmm. Well, I see a bunch of green things and no red things, so I guess my job here is already done. <gasps> is that a blue screen? No! I hate blue screens. Green screens, though, are pretty cool. Hmm. This looks fancy. Right. So I'm guessing... I'm stressing Mason's minuscule brain power to the max here, but I'm guessing those green things are these three things. And that circle thing is probably that. And, uh, let me guess. The solution here is to blow everything up. Wait, that's smoking now, isn't it? To left. Yep, of course. The solution is to blow everything up. Of course, Ethan. That's all you ever do. Let's burn this one to the ground. This is surprisingly ineffective. Um, right, let's do this. Run! Bennett, you out there? I can hear you. Give me your situation. I'm alright, but Anna's missing. Sorry about the girl, but there's bigger things to worry about. I need you to find Kamsky's notes. Our best guess is that they're on his laptop. Find those notes and upload them. With his data, we can make sure this never happens again. But what about Anna? Fine. Head to the main security room. It's a good place to start looking for those notes, and you might be able to spot your girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. Oh, that's right, Hanson. You get your girlfriend shot, not eaten by monsters. Back off, Bennett. Whatever you say. My name's not Hanson, damn it. It's Noah. Ooh, a piece of paper with letters on it. Wait, is this the same note I already have? I already have a note about the magnetic jammer. No, it's different. Yeah, it's different. Wow. They actually thought you might not be able to figure it out. 
they actually made a specific note and highlighted <laughs> that the system will fail to operate only if all three generators are disconnected or destroyed. Wow. Did you really not trust the people playing your game to figure that out? I don't know, between these glowy green things and the fact that it's the only thing you can really do in the room, it's pretty simple. Anyway, uh, laptop, somebody's laptop. Oh no, don't, don't quit. No, don't quit. Right, I don't have a mission yet, so I guess I need to leave the room and then I'm guessing a cutscene will happen. Let's see if I'm right. Cutscene commence! Or save commence. Cutscene commence! Oh. Find the antidote for Anna is what it said right before I actually loaded. Um, I think she's dead. What? just infected Anna. Don't do anything stupid, Hanson. There's nothing you can do. There's an antidote. I can still save her. An antidote? Fine. If you think you've got a shot, go for it. The notes can wait. For now. What the hell was that? Some random gigantic dude pulls her out of the water? She didn't even look wet. Yet she was in the water for who the hell knows how long, and then just rescued her and put her on a table, and then she was alive? What? Is that like her mutated father? I'm guessing that's her father, isn't it? Who somehow has some magical sense and knows where she is at all times or something? Anyway, so, find the antidote for Anna. Must be in the scientific module. What? Where's the scientific module? I don't know where that is. What are you doing? Calm down. Jeez, calm... What the fuck is wrong with your head? Auto defense system activated. Unauthorized personnel have been detected. Area cleared. Doors unlocked. Whoops, didn't mean to shoot. I, uh, I don't remember you being there. And what is this? Here's the electronic key. Elevator key. Hmm. I know of an elevator, but I didn't know it was locked. I thought it was just blocked. I guess we shall go there. If it's where I'm thinking of. Is it the one that's even more back? I do need to go back there to get my AK anyway. Alright, yeah, let's just continue to head back. Let's go grab that AK. I think the creature's still here, isn't it? Um, I'll grab... Nah, there's no reason to grab the med kit. I'm about to hit the med station anyway. Actually, let me get my submachine gun. I want to test this thing out. Actually, never mind. It's only got 11 rounds. I'll stick with the shoddy. Or is that big thing still around here? Or did I... I don't remember if I passed it last time and ignored it to save ammo. No, I hear something. Oh yeah, I do hear something. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab that med kit. Holy shit, that surprised me. Wait, 
Wait, how do I get back? Where is back? I don't know, but I'm gonna flame this thing in the face. I'm feeling in a, a burning mood. All right, it's gone, whatever. It'll come back. Are you? Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh, don't fucking die. Holy shit. That thing and this flamethrower kind of does blow. Okay, here burning. I think I might have killed it. Ah, mm, that feels good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And it doesn't matter how much ammo I use, by the way, because the armory and the med bay are right next to where the AK is, which is where I'm going. Which will fill absolutely everything I have to max. So yeah, the elevator behind me, that's probably the one, but let's go get stocked up here. Oh, don't, don't go into the flames. I almost went into the flames. Alright, here's the AK. Add it to the arsenal. No, I refuse. You add it to the arsenal. William. My resistance has run out, so I can't sprint. Dr. Sunglasses, MD. The armorarium. Okay, 42 shots of the pistol, 150 of the AK, 21 of the shotgun, 125 of the SMG. Let me test this. Let me test this SMG out. I want to see what this thing can do. You know, you see that, uh, the Unit 22 on the back of Liam's vest thing? I bet that's a ranking. Unit 1 being the best. And do you know how many other units there were? 21. Okay, this is the only elevator, elevator that I know of. Please be the one. It's unlocked. Yes, yes I do. A page from Dr. Kamsky's diary. Ooh. More than half of this entire thing is colored orange. However, certain body parts of the individual who have undergone the type of mutation continue to react normally to wounds. This mostly concerns the upper limbs, which become particularly developed. Repeated blows to these body parts were shown to be fatal. In addition, these specimens react strangely to bait spears. They become hysterical and seek to destroy them at all costs. Hmm. Right. This actually is worth reading. Let me read the beginning part. Or at least uh, skim it. So specimens that have manifested a form of asymmetrical development. 
Okay, so in other words, there's a new enemy type. Their skin grows so thick and resistant that, be that they become impervious to the hardest blows, and even to gunfire. In other words, uh, they're tough, but if you shoot them in the right spot, you can kill them. Okay, got it. Roger. Understood. Great, it's locked. Hmm. I guess we're gonna take an elevator ride. Oh, look, there's a hatch at the top of the elevator. Surely nothing's gonna come busting down. I'm gonna switch to my shotgun. Come on. Wait, are you serious? That's it. It is like a one second elevator ride. Great, it's locked. Oh. Wow, well, that looks dangerous. So I'm gonna blindly run ahead. Oh god. Look at that water. That's some pissed off water. Mission complete. Another loading screen. No, oh, shit's gonna blow up in here. Look at this. Damn. Ooh, I want snacks. Ah. What is that squishy noise I hear over there? It's a little bit weird. Making me a little bit unnerved. And let me tell you, I like my nerves where they are. Please don't un them. What even is that? It's getting a little system shocky. Is this gonna like burn me if I touch it? Nope. Just harmless hunks of flesh. Do I hear battle music? Oh, that's the thing that spits out things. Okay. Yeah, how about you die? Are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? Now you're dead. Right. Well... I could go down there, but I don't see a way up. So let's see what's in here first. Am I seeing a flashing thing over here? What is that? Oh, it must be the light. Oh, Jesus. No, st stupid view. Oh my god. There we go. Yeah, it's just the lights coming through the walls for some reason. The damn thing's stuck. Damn it. I hear them. But I don't see them. There you are. You little fucker. That is one fucked up microwave. Well, at least I can still get to his pockets. I don't really want to stand on that, but I don't think I have a choice. Let me try this first. Eat that. Okay, I guess it's safe. It looks like I'm going to inhale some horrible gas. What the? Okay. <laughs> Is this seriously going to happen again? Again. Okay. I become reinfected. What the fuck is happening? 
Sounds like somebody's beating the meat. What are you? Those are some seriously wet smacks. For what appears to be a very dry thing that he's hitting. What in the he- oh, I'm gonna turn around from that. Ew. Ew. The damn thing's stuck. Oh. I guess I could've done that. Whoa! Okay. Gonna back away? <laughs> the hell's going on? Is it just gonna keep exploding? I, I guess I ran out of explosion juice. Anyway, let's just set this SMG. Oh god. Oh, did not mean to fucking throw a grenade. I do want to try to flame it. That didn't kill it. Are you... Okay, good. Can you please die? Right. Well, if I don't touch it, it appears to not do anything. So I'm just going to leave it alone. Can I actually go up here? Oh, well. Well, so Jaden, let me get this right. You slip on a surface that is like a 5% gradient, and yet you don't slip on a worm and slime covered surface. That's more like, what, 45, 90, great, I don't even know, it's really high. Okay, fine, fine. What just happened? What? That was a level transition? Can I go back? Where did I come from? Here, can, can I go back? Right. Apparently this was where I was supposed to go. Okay then. Also, anyone notice how this game has such a strange... It's got some sort of a motion blur. It's got some sort of a motion blur, but it's like the worst motion blur I've ever seen. It may be the worst motion blur I've ever seen. It doesn't actually look so much like blur. It looks more like a smear, as if you had a monitor that had a really bad response time. Or whatever it's called, you know, the, the change time. Except it looks even worse than that. It just looks smeary. Oxpara. Hmm. Wait, even, even the telephone sparks? Gotta say, wherever they bought all of their general supplies from, their telephones, their power panels like that, their wires, wherever they bought this stuff, they might want to find a new a new company to do business with, business with because everything seems to be a little bit unsafe. It seems like when the slightest thing goes wrong, they just start shooting off sparks, which is not a good trait for your product to have. Don't get excited. I'm not coming through there. The scientist's dormitory, obviously locked. Great, it's locked. Showers. I could use a shower. Let's go for a shower.
That looked painful. Oh, shit. God, those things can do a lot of damage if they're unchecked. Alright, this um, SMG kind of sucks, and it holds even less ammo than the AK, so... I'm gonna stick with the AK. Another one. Oh, I'm just spitting them out. Alright, I need to be quick. I can't even open it. I don't even know what happened in there. Right, well, I guess I'm not gonna get a shower, am I? Is, in fact, is there anything in here worth a damn at all? Okay. Well, Michael's plan to have a shower was never to be. Right, there's one door there. There's a creepy hallway there. I don't know. Where does this go? It's a big door. Underwater elevators, what it just said in the top right. Sounds neat. So wait a minute, I can either leave out the other door or press the button. Great, it's locked. Do I actually want to go underwater? Not yet. That feels like something I should do later. Even though as far as I can tell, it's actually unlocked. Alright, so there's four ways to go. These two doors, the huge underwater elevator door, and the creepy hallway that has a thingamabob. It looks like it's trying to touch me, and God, look at that motion blur. It just looks like ghosting. Like it's a really bad motion blur. Great, a door with no handle. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like it has a handle, but it's one of those flat doors where the handle is simply a part of the texture. But no, maybe I can actually open that if I find a handle. It's not my mission, though. I did not mean to do that. I almost busted that panel behind him. There we go. Right, you're creeping me out. Ew. 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 I'm just gonna keep walking. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Wait, wait, what? That said, he doesn't have any more ammunition. But he didn't have any to start with. That looks like a really angry face. Look at that. Giving me a judging look. Let me make him happy. There you it's go, now you're happy. Nah, he still looks judgmental. Sounds like a timer. It is a timer. Alright, is there a secret panel? Oh! For the door, right. That doesn't make any sense. So, wait a minute. This is somebody's bedroom. There's a bed. You're telling me when this person wants to enter his bedroom? He hits the control panel? That's simply in the bunks with the rest of the people. And then he runs to his room so that he can actually get in? What? I don't understand.
Mm. Yeah. Alright, so this was just a little bonus. No notes or key cards or anything, just general supplies. Cool, cool. Looks like somebody spilled ink on the ground. Right, let's go into the other one, which is probably just more dormitories. Dormerarium. The other one said something something number one. Alright, number two. This one says number one. I don't really need the ammo at all. Well, you're obviously gonna wake up. Let's nip that in the bud. Or, never mind. Grenade! Did it work? I see smoke. I think it worked. Yeah, it worked. Okay. Never mind, it did basically nothing. It tripped them up. It made them fall. Oh, I like that little hand move you're doing with your shoulder there. Aiden. What are you doing there, Aiden? Is this something they teach you in the Coast Guard? progress of platform operations. All drilling operations have ceased. Laboratory facilities are operational. I've been equipped according to blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. The first... Ooh, this actually is kind of important. Alright, so they've made... According to Dr. Kamsky's instructions, they made confinement cells, decontamination chambers, scanners, and scanning electron microscopes. The first specimens are on board, and the 20 scientists I've recruited at your request will be here on Thursday. Anischenko has enabled the communication jamming system and all drilling crew members have been evacuated. Those aware of the presence of exocells have been dealt with separately. Work can now get underway. Okay, so it looks like they maybe did find these things under the water or something in their drilling. And then when they discovered them, they switched full time from drilling to just researching them. Got it. That's the showers, that's the place I can't go. That leaves me with either a creepy hallway or the underwater elevator. Let's go here. Goodbye. What's that say? Refec refectory. What's a refectory? What does it mean to refect? I hear something moving. It almost sounds like a fan. And now I hear like a heartbeat noise. What does that mean? What am I'm hearing weird stuff. Oh. Okay. Maybe I should shoot them all in the head before I approach. He doesn't have any more ammunition. He never had any to begin with. Freaking Daniel. Right. I remember one of the notes mentioned them going crazy over the darts. But I don't think it was referring to them. Still, what are they getting? What are they doing? Like, they don't even care about me. Uh, 
the hell was that? Well, should I heat things up? Look, that one didn't even care. Let me guess, that one still has its head. Oh no, don't go away, don't go away, I need your stuff! I just stepped on its invisible head. Right. They really wanted food. Apparently. Oh, let's avoid the hole. The damn thing's stuck. Damn it. Whatever noise I was hearing before, it's even louder. It's really bright in here. A report about contamination. I like how he bends I like how he bends down to pick the pockets of the people that are chained up. Hmm. Should I take it? Nah, I'm good. I'll save it for if, I, if I'm desperate. Ooh, that. Holy crap. Alright, I'll skim this. One of the reasons the exocells may have previously escaped detection is that they demonstrate an occasional ability to blend in with their environment. Mm -hmm. The subject quite literally became invisible. Oh, shit. The subject quite literally became invisible, whereas infrared enhanced viewing clearly confirmed its presence. Otherwise, only a faint ripple or disturbance could be seen when it moved. Mm-hmm. Let me skim this stuff about the exocells. Uh, apparently, the... The millimetric fangs that the exocells shoot out are used to suck the victim's blood. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Contaminated human hosts, alive or dead, are immediately driven by the exocells, the exocells' urges to seek and destroy warm-blooded life. Mm-hmm. The secondary phase of the, ex of the exocell life, which we now call the tumorous phase, in which the exocells become breeders. That's what those things on the walls must be. They're extraordinarily difficult to destroy, even though uh, condemned to immobility. Only fire can effectively destroy these forms of exocell. The breeder produces contaminators at a still undetermined rate. The contaminators will fight to the death to protect its parent. Okay. Well, that didn't really tell me anything I didn't already know. Aside from the invisible part, that was new. And I'm looking for ripples. Well, I know precisely where to go. Underwater elevator time. I'm incredibly surprised that so far nothing has come out of the top of these elevators. Out of any elevator. Great, it's locked. Damn it. Ooh, pretty. 
Fishy, ew, those fishes are the shittiest looking fishes I've ever seen. They looked pretty until I saw them moderately close and now they look hideous. Ugh, never mind. I guess they really didn't have a lot of performance to spare. The hell was that? Okay. Wait. Is this thing gonna burst? I'm gonna keep going. I like how the entire color of the scene changes in the cutscene. Like from green to blue. I see you. I see your footsteps. Oh shit, oh shit. The fuck off me. Alright, so their limbs are vulnerable. Where are you? Are you dead? Now you're dead. Wasn't it their upper limbs that were vulnerable, or was that something else? I don't remember. Anyway, you're dead. That's the important part. Why, hello, boss fight. Let me take a drink before I fight you. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, no, that's the thing that probably has the, uh... Yeah, that's the thing that has a vulnerable limb. It's a huge limb. It's massive arm. Looks like a freaking tank from Left 4 Dead. Okay. So... Let's see. Let's see. Anything in the environment? Not really. Not visible. I think just shoot it in the arm and run in a circle. Probably... I need to get the most damage out. In a short amount of time as possible, so I'm thinking the AK, probably. When was my last save? Seems like a long time ago. Anyway, here we go. Look, I can hear it breathing, come on. I can see it moving, and it's breathing. Oh god, there's three. Um, do I have to fight three at one time? Please, no. Probably AK, shotgun, and SMG, maybe? Not sure if it's worth flaming them. No, I think you just need massive stopping power. Right. I'm just gonna go through door number six. Experimental chamber. Wait a minute. So wait, that first word is the word for experimental? That is a long, long word. Wow. Sounds like they're punching a bloody carcass again. A page about experiments. We have we have observed that electric discharges have no effect on the exocells and neural neuronal network. However, once the exocells have taken control of a body, both the exocell and its hosts are vulnerable to any source of electricity. In fact, prolonged exposure to a strong electric charge results in death. No kidding! You don't say. As a precaution, we have electrified the floors in the experimental chamber. This system is only to be used in the case of an extreme emergency. Well, I would say a zombie apocalypse is a pretty strong emergency. 
Now, where's the active mater panel? Where's where's the panel? This thing doesn't look like it. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. Does it interact? Yeah. Access denied. Damn. <sighs> damn it. How about now? Nope. Still damn. Well, enjoy this for now. Never mind, it's not explosive. Oh well. It was a good plan. Kind of. Aside from the fact that it didn't work at all. No wasted ammo. Aside from that, it was a great plan. Oh, hi. He doesn't have any more ammo. 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 I need more ammo. He sure came in with a flourish. I guess he came with his own special effects crew. I just want one. I want one to like come out. Hold on, what's that? I want to like walk down a long hallway and then see a bunch of smoke. Like, a bunch of smoke just come out at the end of the hallway. And then walking out of the smoke is one of those creatures. One of these zombies. While rock music and, like, pyrotechnics just blast. Yeah. Now that'd be a cool entrance. What are you doing? Are you eating your own hand? Uh... I'm sorry, what'd you say? What'd you say, sir? I can't hear you. What? what? What are you saying? I don't understand what you're saying. Could you please speak up? Sir, could you please speak up? Could you please talk louder, sir? Alright, fine. Really? The only thing that did was get its attention. Okay. Man, this grenade launcher sucks. It really does suck. Hmm. Medkit. Nah, I'm still good. I'm at like thingy and a button oh hi you're obviously gonna come out can we save some time could you just come out now no okay I'll wait for your script to activate I'll be patient right so let's see how this goes um I walk over there I get the thing I press the button stuff happens I walk back and then all three of you come out and I kill you and I leave the room is that about right? Okay, cool. Blue. A page from Dr. Campsey's diary. I can't help thinking that these creatures have great potential. Mm-hmm. Yusupov wants me to create beasts, things that can be used to kill. He fails to see how we could use the exocells to improve life. Nevertheless, he has Anna, and thus I am forced to obey. Mm hmm. Okay. I've made some monsters for you, Sapov. Let us see what I can make for myself. Ooh, something about the antidote. Right, the key to preventing uh, taking complete control, the exocell taking complete control, is the blocking the penetration of the creature's tendril into the victim's brain. Mm-hmm. 
Talking about stimulating the production of autolytic enzymes to stop the infection. Alright, that told, told me basically nothing important. Ooh, a thing! Apparently that's the entire antidote. Okay, cool. What does this do? Neato! Hey, sit down. Sit down and wait patiently for this to complete. Do you feel it working, sir? Do you feel better now? Ew. That was rude. Dick. Alright, you can come out now. Come on. There we go. Alright, excellent. Wait, there's one more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright. You wanna save? Hmm. Let me guess, on the way back I do have to fight one of those big things. Or maybe all three. Wait a minute, were you there before? Who? I don't remember you being there. Anyway, let's grab the medkit. Ooh. A shiny note. Code for the experimental chamber PC. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Let's activate the electrical thingamabobbers. Oh, shit. I thought it was nothing. I thought it was just a stupid jump scare. It turns out it was a stupid jump scare, but also an invisible monster. Well, nearly invisible. Alright, let's start spreading the ammo use. I've been using my shotgun a lot. Oh, Jesus! Oh! Okay, there's a little thing that popped up that flashes and says, SHOOT! As if you're playing some sort of a stupid arcade game. Which, well, I suppose it kind of is. Um, but if you press that, that happens. You do an execution move or something. Did he just search for his head after I shot his head off? Like, where did it go? Oh no, I'm dead. Alright. Well, they might find this shocking news. <laughs> well, you know, what? So you blow up the floor and then you fall through. Okay, fine. I'm guessing this isn't going to open. No. Must make red thing green. The damn thing's stuck. No, it's stuck red. <laughs> I can't take it. I can't take it. I must look at green things. Look at this. Look at this dart. It's green. Yes. Yes. It's green. Oh. Oh. No, not the red. The green. The green. Must be green. No, this one's red too. It's unlocked. <gasps> now it's green. Oh, thank God. Someone left a hand in the sink. Weird. Oh, they're in cages. Well, they're obviously gonna come out. Come on, break through. 
What the fuck? Right. So apparently my light is like burning out. Did that thing just leap to its death? Apparently it had shotgun shells on it. Where was it keeping them? I wonder. What? Who? Uh, who is talking? Right, so these are like mutated dogs, right? Was it you? Was it you? I don't know. I'll shoot everyone in the head. Oh, Jesus. Right, chuck on time. Okay. Jesus, come on. Oh my fucking god. Wow. Those things are obnoxious to deal with. Jesus. Where's my last save? Ah, oh, here, okay. Alright, so go over here, that thing pops out, and like, oh my god, and I proceed. Really fast, really fast, really fast. Really, come, what the? There we go. And shoot. And you're dead. Execution. Man, there's another one. Come on. I'll just kill you. Whatever. Did I pick up the password? I... I don't know if I picked up the password for the PC. It's a little bit important. Did I? Maybe I did. What do you know? Access quick. Awkward. Let's get up in the guy up there. And is he attacking me? No, oh, we both fall. And of course he gets a hit off before I can even move. Hacker. I'm just gonna leave. Yes, wonderful camera angle. Thank you, game. All right, Jesus Christ. It's unlocked. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, so I run here and the thing jumps and it's dead. There we go. Why do they have like glowy yellow on their eyes? Okay. Oh, I'm actually really low on shotgun ammo. Yeah, let's go back to the AK. Not only am I in the Coast Guard, but I also prevent forest fires. Do I have to crouch through here? No. I think I just go around. 
You guys gonna crash out now? You guys over there? No? Okay. Oh, that one looks like it needs some... Some Advil or something. This guy's got a headache. Poor guy. I was trying to figure out what that was. I just realized it's just... It's a partially spilled vial of blood. Ew. Oh, I see you. There we go. I couldn't even get up here. I guess I could have shot that to shock it or something, but... Oh, well. What the hell just hit me? Right. Oh, there's another one. Hmm. Let's just do this. Yeah. And anyone else alive? Did I just get hit by something? What just hit me? I don't know what's happening. I'm gonna go this direction. There. I successfully went this direction and I'm still alive. Goody. Lots of red things. It's disturbing me. Ah. <sighs> Oh, it's such a cute little elevator lift thing. It's adorable. I'm guessing this door doesn't work. Wow, okay. It's got like a fried control panel, but apparently it does. Wait a minute, is this back to the... Oh god. And it just asked me to save, so can you guess what's gonna happen? Oh yeah. Right. Let's get out the AK. Come on, fight me! Fight me! Alright. Come on. Come on. I'm not getting in there without the right code. What do I even need to do? Oh, to get back to Anna, I have to take the elevator to the scientific module. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is the elevator. Oh, is it like a massive infinite elevator and I'm gonna have to fight them while it's going up? As they one will get released and then the next one will get released? In a high security area. Yeah, okay. Stage thing, it comes out and then you fight him, right? Repeat. Begin evacuation plan B. This is not a test. I repeat. This is not a test. Area cleared. Doors unlocked. Yeah, it goes up and then what? One of them's gonna come out, I have to fight it, and then it continues to go up, and then the next one comes out. Or are they gonna... Am I... Seriously? Still not yet. Like, they're building this up. Obviously you have to fight them. Obviously. Wait, where am I? No, no, go. Oh. I didn't think that would actually work. I really didn't think that would actually work to take me back down. Back up we go. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Look at that camera. Boo, do, do, do.
Well, you know what? On that note, I think I'll end the episode. <sighs> Alright. Oh, gotta get a stretch in. Oh, that feels good. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.